Looks like you've got yourself stuck in quite the predicament, human. Are you doing all right up there? Are you comfortable? <laughs> hey, now. You might not want to thrash about. You're bound to hurt yourself. Besides, I'm not going to do anything to you while you're strung up like that. That's just unfair. Hmm. You are kind of cute hanging up there, though, sweetheart. So I might just, uh, keep you there like that while we chat. You don't mind that too much, do you? I mean, you did just get up there. So what's a couple more minutes? <laughs> How'd I know? Well, I heard you, silly. I heard you from the very moment you stepped foot into my territory. And, well, then of course, I heard your startled little eep. <laughs> and then the snapping of rope. How precious. Oh, I could have easily hunted you myself. But you were walking right towards it. And I really wanted to see someone spring that trap. And now I have. Thank you. <laughs> it was just as amusing as I thought it would be. <laughs> no, no. That doesn't mean you get to leave. A snake's got to eat, human. And a little thing like you. Oh, you'd make a tasty appetizer, to say the least. <laughs> No. Well, if you aren't content with being my dinner plans, what else would you have to offer me? Because if you keep making that face and expect me to have a change of heart, strictly from seeing how pathetic you look, <laughs> You're going to need a backup plan, because, frankly, that pleading look, oh, it looks great on you, <laughs> like a garnish. So you might want to try a different approach, sweetie. Oh, and you better make it quick. <laughs> I think I'm going to let you down now. And you've got till we make it back to my den to change my mind. And if not, I'm just going to assume that you've given up and resigned yourself to being my late afternoon snack. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Does that hurt? I could always pick you up instead. No. All right, then. Your loss. So, why did you end up around my neck of the woods, 
There's not a lot of civilization around, so you would have had to end up here on purpose, right? A camper? A hiker, maybe? <sighs> oh, come on. You can't expect me to believe you're a researcher. Everyone says they're a researcher when they're caught. And only half of them have anything to show for it. And lying is going to make me assume you don't want to live. <laughs> so... Do you have anything to show for it? Or do you want to just come clean and admit you, um, got lost or something? <sighs> That's what I thought. Just be honest next time. <laughs> Not that there will be a next time. Oh, but hey, lessons for your next life, I guess. Although, if it makes you feel better. If you were actually a researcher, I would have ended up eating you regardless. <laughs> They're always so annoying. Hmm. You know... It always struck me as odd that there's a campground ten miles away from Naga territory. It's almost like you guys want to be eaten. Oh, I can't complain, though. It leaves me with such easy prey to lure out. But you humans make such a mess. It almost makes me want to kill you right then and there. <gasps> but that would be such a waste. Humans don't save well for future meals out here in the woods. Huh. It's not like they didn't know what they were doing either. I've eaten some of their scouts and rangers before. It's like they're just sending you guys to die. Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, right, right. I shouldn't be taking up your time to pitch me a reason why I shouldn't eat you. <laughs> My bad. Back on topic. Where were we again? Oh, yeah. How do you end up so lost? Ten miles is a long walk. And you look... Real worse for wear, sweetheart. You're sure you want me to drag you the rest of the way? Mm -hmm. You're wincing an awful lot. Looks like you're getting some nasty scrapes, too. Oh, come on. It's not like I'm going to be able to eat you like this anyway. No. I'd have to cut you up first. <laughs> and despite a snake's reputation as being conniving, me, personally, hmm, I'm a man of my word. Huh. Or would it be a snake of my word? Hmm. I'd say I'm more man than snake. Hmm. Well, I suppose I would be more a snake than man, physically. After all, I do have six feet of snake under my torso, while human men only have about, oh, six inches or so. Or so, I'm told. Hmm. <laughs> so you're telling me that you are trying to find your way back to civilization without your ride. 
and went in the complete wrong direction. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I guess I shouldn't laugh. But there's no way you thought through all that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me guess, let me guess. You held the map upside down? <laughs> or, or, or maybe, maybe you forgot a compass. <laughs> or, or did you get spun around at the huge, worn-down walking path that leads right to the main road? <laughs> Oh, there's no way you missed that. It's so stupidly obvious. And you somehow got lost. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Is there any thought in that head of yours? Is there a singular brain cell that rattles up in there? <laughs> Your face is so red, oh, you're really embarrassed. Oh, no, no, little human. Don't cry because I called you stupid. Cry because I'm going to eat you. <laughs> Unless you can somehow successfully give me a reason to let you live. But as of right now... You're just a dumb little snack. A cute, dumb little snack. I can take your life if you're done with it, sweetheart. You keep saying you want one more chance. But really, is there anything that you can say to change my mind? Home's coming up on the horizon there. And not once have you said anything that makes me think your stay on this earth is more important than uh, keeping me sustained. Time's a waste in here. Tick. Talk. <laughs> Most people have families or responsibilities to keep up with. That's not making you special or worth keeping alive. That's just a fact of life. Try again. <laughs> you wouldn't taste very good. I think I'll be the judge of that. You do smell great, though. Mm. Mm, try again. Wow, you're giving up already? Oh, that's so disappointing. You had at least three minutes left. Yes, the options were either that I uh, let you live and you run away, or, hmm, you die, and I cut you up and eat you. You either live or you don't. It's not that complicated a concept for your little head, is it? A uh, third option... What are you getting at? Hmm. Hmm. So you're saying that I let you live, but keep you around. What do either of us get out of that? Well, yes, I suppose you get to live longer. Oh, but to be honest, human, that just seems like babysitting. 
and a real test of my self-control. What good does keeping you around do me? It would be like uh, being tasked with looking after a slice of cake without being able to eat it. But you'd also have to make sure that the cake is uh, taken care of. Uh, look, the analogy is kind of falling apart, but I'm sure you can see the point I'm trying to make here. Yeah, <laughs> like you could benefit me by doing what exactly? Uh, so your plan is just to make yourself useful? Hmm. I don't need to be taken care of, human. I'm perfectly self-sufficient. Hmm. Well, there's a point. I can't say I'm lonely. No, I'm fine being on my own. But I do get bored. I run out of things to do when I'm not hunting. And uh, sometimes I'm not tired enough to nap it away. Oh, these fun little hunting excursions are really the most interesting thing I have going on. Hey, now don't get ahead of yourself there. But yes, I guess I can see the appeal. Tell you what, we're coming up on the den now, so I'll give you a week and... If you end up boring me by the end of it, you're done. In fact, just to make this more interesting, if you end up surviving the week, great, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're out of the woods. Well, if you get bored with a book, Aren't you inclined to put it down? Oh, well, maybe you'll give it another chapter or so. <sighs> but if it's still boring, you want to give it up. You're here to satiate my boredom, not to bore me and take my resources. If there is no benefit for keeping you around... Why not just make use of you in the way that I initially intended? <sighs> yes, sure, I guess I can give you a little heads up before I kill you. At least then you'll have the chance to shape up. But for your sake, I hope it doesn't come to that. I'll probably be keeping a mental count of how often I've got to reprimand you. And if the number gets too high, well, I might have to reconsider this little deal of ours. Sound good? Yes, I guess a deal that's on such a shaky foundation probably doesn't sound great. But you proposed it, and you get to live. So you don't get to be mad. No, you've lost your right to be mad. Right. Well, here we are at last. Home, sweet. Home. Let me get you out of that net. <sighs> All right, there we go. Follow me. My den goes on for a while. You would think that a cave would be claustrophobic. But I'd argue that it's easier to get lost 
I know this place like the back of my hand. So, if you ever find yourself turned around with that awful sense of direction of yours, just yell, or don't. I might have fun watching you wander. And I've got a handful of goods I've collected from past meals. So, if you find yourself bored without me around, or while I'm otherwise <laughs> occupied, I'm sure you can find something. <sighs> I'll set you up with something later. But for now, you can go on and make yourself comfortable. After all, I need to head out again. Where do you think I'm going? I can't really eat you anymore, now can I? Besides, now I gotta get something for you, too. Maybe I'll find an animal for us to share. That'll be nice, won't it? I bet you can stomach that. Oh, and just so you know, if you try to leave, I will find you. You're all scraped up from the ride over here, no thanks to your stubbornness. So I could smell your blood from miles away. And I won't be the only one who can. Whatever's out there, it will also be hot on your tail. And will be less than kind. So your best bet is to stay put. And if I find out you left, I will go back on our deal. And you will be dead when I get you. Are we clear? Great. Awesome. Glad something can stick around in that head of yours. Let's hope it stays there. Until you can do something to prove that you are smarter than I'm giving you credit for, I will continue to call it how I see it. <laughs> no, you do not get to call me rude, because that's how you see it. No, no, no. This is not a two-way street. I get to make fun of you. And you have to cope with it, because making fun of you amuses me, and cures my boredom. Unless you want me to be bored. <laughs> oh, don't look so scared, I was just teasing. Anyway, nightfall is coming soon. And I have a hunch walking ten miles for who knows how long has probably been hard on your appetite. Oh, so if you want to eat and don't want me to eat you, <laughs> I really ought to get going. Oh, I'll be back about uh, in an hour or so. Uh, feel free to um, read or nap or uh, something while I'm out. Yes, you look beat. Ah, uh, that nap might do something good for you. And I'll wake you when I get back. Or maybe not. Hmm, I don't think you want to see all the gory, fun stuff that comes with hunting. <laughs> or maybe I should wake you up for just that reason. Just to see you get all skittish. <laughs> Such a quick no. Well, I know what I'm doing later. Oh, 
And I hope you have an amazing nap with that on your mind. I'll be back later, sweetheart. Good night. reached this point in the video and have not already subscribed, please take a moment to do so. I really appreciate it.